Your, your faith is grossly misplaced there, Rogue, Rogue Force, but you know, to each their own. At least you're being positive. I'm sure Fur Walls appreciates it. But let's be real here. We know what's going to happen. All coming around into the fifth pass, and now they're coming up into the Muggles. Rogue Force holding first place for now. Drag, I believe Dragon Musical just barely ahead of the Glorious Mustache. In second place, Drag, or Glorious Mustache in third place, just to be in fourth. Fur Walls in fifth, hitting the booster now, going across the Muggles. How are they fair across the Muggles? Rogue Force getting a very good bounce, but I think uh, Dragon Musical and the Glorious Mustache have closed the gap on Rogue Force, and Rogue Force has got to be careful across these Muggles. They missed the exit, and that's going to give Dragon Musical a chance to overtake, and they do. So Dracula Mystical now in first place. Looks like Rogue Force in second. Glorious Force in third. Shades of E in fourth place. They come across the next Moguls. It looks like Rogue Force is going to have a very good line across the center. And they're going to retake first place with Dracula Mystical and Glorious Force trying to battle it out for second place. Rogue Force coming across the last Moguls. Will they do well? Yes, they got a good line. But they bounce out to the right-hand side. All the other players going to the left-hand side. Shades of E going straight across. It looks like Shades of E is looking to close the gap. And it looks like this is going to be anyone's mace. Glorious Force and Shades of e neck and neck for first place with Rogue Force not too far behind going into the load. And Shades of e has gone straight through the level one speed washer. And Shades of e moving, making the move right on the last mogul and in through the level one speed washer. Can they get past the last part here? Looks like they're going to go through perfect timing. And Shades TV sniping a victory out of nowhere from fourth to first on the last stretch of the course. Drag the musical doesn't know what to do. Slams right into the force cubes. Glorious Force has just decides to commit suicide. Dragon Musical does bounce around those force cubes. Going to finish in second place, but still completely bewildered by Shades TV's performance. Rogue Force coming through into the, skipping across the debris there, trying to get through on the right hand side, but they gotta be careful of those pins, they are, and they're gonna finish out in third place, and Furwalls, dead last in fourth place, having trouble with that level of speed washer. <laughs> <laughs> Fur Walls just doesn't even want to continue anymore. As they come down the final side, will they even finish? No, they get last. <laughs> and Fur Walls just cannot catch a break tonight. Uh, I, I don't want to say I told you so, but I fucking told you so. <laughs> Far out to the left-hand side, but they do bounce back in towards the center. All the other players are going to be hitting that jump now. Looks like Furwell's coming through. They're going to be on the left-hand side as well. Dracula Musical going down the center lane. And there we have Tim Reaper and Chesapeake coming up to the jump now. Dracula Musical, the only one with a chance to skip across these colanders. But looks like they're going to go through. Oh my goodness, almost skipping by Dracula Musical. But it looks like the Glorious Mustache is looking to crush all of us meatbags here with a beautiful run on the left-hand lane. All the other players are finally getting up into that nine lane bowling alley. We have Drag the Musical in second, Four Walls in third, Shenzhen in fourth, Jim Reaper in fifth place as they come across the line, trying to get through these pins. Gorgeous has stopped up a little bit there, but that's going to give him a good line, and that's going to give him a very good chance to hold out in first place. Four Walls also stopped by the pins. They're going to go across safely as they go through on the left hand side of the balance beam, and the Gorgeous Pest is going to be the first one into. Oh no, Drag the Musical is going to be the first one into the big. How did they get through there? I guess they're going through on the center track, and Drag the Musical has overtaken the Gorgeous Pest into the Newton's Nightmare, and Drag the Musical first one into the boosters, trying to get past those pins. Beautiful line by Drag the Musical, almost getting through flawlessly, but it looks like they're having a little bit of trouble on this middle set of pins. Glorious Mustache is also trying to get through with a good line, but they also get stopped up a little bit there. Dragon Musical trying to get their speed back, but it's so is the Glorious Mustache. Dragon Musical stopped up on the pistons yet again. They get blasted out by the pins. Will they be able to stick the landing? We're going to find out here in just a moment. Here goes Dragon Musical. Going to stick the landing in the cheese grater, and they do with a good bounce towards the center, and the Dragon Musical is making a break for it, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to give them a very good time, and Dracula Musical across the line with an excellent performance, bouncing out with those ramming pins, getting ahead of the other players, sticking the landing in the cheese grater and getting a good bounce in across the finish line. Horace Meister is holding second place for now in complete disbelief that a meatbag was able to show them up in such a fashion. They're going to have to go across the line embarrassed in second place. Shins holding third place for now if they can just survive this last pin and they do into the cheese grater. Furwalls and Tim Reaper having a little bit of trouble in the back. Tim Reaper in fourth. There goes Furwalls blasting out. Will they be able to stick the landing? I think they're slightly off to the left hand side. Not looking good for Furwalls. Can they stick the landing in the cheese grater? Yes, they do. Oh my goodness. Furwalls has overtaken all the other players except for Shins And Shins finishing in third. And it looks like Furwalls is going to finish in fourth place. Tim Reaper finally going to have to get across. A line in fifth place, and that is going to be the race, ladies and gentlemen. Two amazing plays by two amazing contestants, but it looks like Dracula Musical is the first place finish. Two minutes and four seconds with the same fashion that I love my mom used to finish with the record time of a minute and 55 seconds. Very well done, Dracula Musical. As they go down into the bingo ball, Dracula Musical right behind in second, Shenzhen in third. Furwalls and Tim Reaper coming up in fourth and fifth place into this bingo ball. Looks like the players are up into the bingo ball now. Glorious Mr. Shardy finding their way through, as does Dracula Musical and Shenzhen so they spent no time in that bingo ball. Glorious Mr. is a full uh, cog ahead on the water wheel. It looks like Dracula Musical is going to be a full head of Shenzhen There they go, blasting across into the radar scanner. Both players safely across Shenzhen bouncing off of the top of the radar scanner, has been knocked out. They were detected by the radar, and they have been eliminated. 
Glory Smashers on the left hand side. Dragon Mystical also on the left hand side. Having a little bit of trouble getting out of that funnel. So the Glory Smashers now a full helix ahead of Dragon Mystical in first place. Dragon Mystical in second. Jim Reaper trying to get through on the left hand side as well in third place. And Furwall's going through on the center track. So they might have a chance to catch up here if they can get through these helixes and across the moguls with a good time. Glory Smashers already out of the helixes as they come across into the merger. Coming down across into the Chiefs Crater. They're going to have a good lead in first place. Once again, showing their dominance on this course. Dragon Mystical in second place. Number 16 on the leaderboard trying to show everyone how it's done. Furwall's coming up on the top track ahead of Tim Reaper now, so it looks like they did make up some ground. Glory Smash is already up to the water wheel, trying to get across the Chief's Disintegrator. Will he be able to Oh my goodness, a perfect straight shot by the Glorious Mustache across the Chief's Disintegrator and completely demolishing the competition on their home turf. Showing everyone who dominates on this course and not letting anyone have a moment of advantage. That's going to be Dragon Musical finally across the Chief's Disintegrator in second place. Looks like Furwalls and Timber are getting busted out by the Chief's Disintegrator. Shouldn't be fell out of the map somehow. Don't even know how, but both players did manage to... No, Tim Reaper didn't land! How did Tim Reaper not land and Furwalls did. That was completely unprecedented. Maybe Furwalls got a little uh, come up and back on uh, Tim Reaper there, pushing him out of that ball. I think they landed on the very edge of the wind bin and could not stick the landing. A completely unconventional finish there, ladies and gentlemen. We might have to go back into the replay for the highlights, but song for you, Furwalls. I'm not giving up on you, Furwalls. And this is looking really good for Dracula Musical, increasing the speed on these boosters, trying to keep it as they go down into the mergers, and will they be able to go for the skip on this course? I'm not sure, ladies and gentlemen. Dragon Musical with a lot of speed trying to get through, but they're starting to slow down, and this is not looking good for them. Furwalls, a lot of speed on the right-hand path, but they're going to hit the wall, and that's not going to give them a skip at all. Dracula Musical also hits the wall, and looks like both players are going to take it slow and steady as they go down into the stuttered vortex orbiter. Rogue Force fell out of the map somehow. Looks like they didn't stick the landing on the sextuple side down into the nine-lane bowling alley. It says to be and Tim Reaper taking it slow as they go down into the five lane bowling alley themselves into that studded, or studded vortex orbiter. Four walls in first place as they come down into the center into the point of no return. Dragon the musical in second. Tim Reaper in third, overtaking Shens to be on the collection gutter. Shens to be in fourth place now as they come down. Will any player get a good pinch shot? No good pinch shot so far. And Four walls looking to be dead shot in first place as they go down into this dishwasher. Four walls coming around, looking to get their first victory. Trying to go through on the left hand side in the wrong direction, but they get stopped up by the blade. Four walls is trying to make a break for it, trying to get their first win of the night, but they're just not having any luck. Looks like they're gonna finally find the exit, but here comes Jack and Mystical and left that side, but they missed the hole. And Furwall's gonna be the first one across to the cheese of Blue Grater. Can they survive? They're stepped up on the pistons, trying to get through, and this could be Furwall's chance. We told him we weren't giving up on him, and there comes Furwall's already in the exit. Will any player be able to overtake? I don't think so. And Furwall's finally having their moment has gotten through on the left hand side of the track, and they're gonna come across the wind bin and finish out the race in first place. The song worked the center line as well. Who's going to get closest to the center tube? Furwalls with a very good bounce right at the end, going for that center tube, but they're going to have a very good position here. Rogue Force not going to be too far behind in second place. All the other players pretty outside on the tubes, and even though the Glory Specialist landed first, you're going to see how much better the tube placement gets you, and Furwalls drops right down into first place ahead of the Glorious Mustache. Rogue Force dropping on top of both players, overtaking and going right into the collection bin, and Rogue Force is going to come out in first place. Glorious Mustache now in second place. Furwalls in third, Zodiac Willow in fourth, Dragon Musical with Tim Reaper and Fushipane and Shesame all bringing up the rear, tied for sixth place, but the a glorious mustache and rogue force battling it out for first place as they go around this first helix into the intersection and into the second helix. Both players safely across as they go through. Furwalls in third, Zodiac Will in fourth place. The Dracula Musical, Tim Reaper, Fushimane, and Chesapeake all bringing up their rear. Looks like the players are coming up into the fight now, but Rogue Force and Glorious Mustache have got to find a way through this force cube bridge if they want to have a lead. Otherwise, they're going to have to go through those very long obstacles. Furwalls all alone on the left hand side. Zodiac Will strategically behind on the right hand track. Dracula Musical strategically behind on the left hand track. Fushimane, Chesapeake going through. I think two of those players are going to get through, and Tim Reaper going through on the left hand side as well. All our players are coming across. It looks like Zodiac Willow has fallen through, and that's going to give Fushipade a chance, a chance to go through as well. Fushipade gets a bad bounce off of the debris. Chesapeake does not, and Chesapeake is going to make their move as they hit the bounce going across the express lane. Rogue uh, Furwalls skipping across the cheese or the uh, dishwasher down to the lower track, and Furwalls with a completely unprecedented play going across into this uh, into this uh, merger here ahead of Chesapeake, and Furwalls finally finding a way to make their bad luck work for them. They fell out of the dishwasher but landed in on the express lane on the bottom, and they have landed themselves right into first place. And Furwalls finally getting victory for the second time tonight. 
They used their bad luck to their advantage, having survived falling out of the dishwasher. And Furwall is almost a third of a helix ahead of Shen CV on the right-hand track all alone. Is going to finish in first place. Very well done, Furwalls. A well-earned victory here tonight. Who's going to be the first one merging in on the level 2 speed washer and who's going to come out in first place? It's all going to come down to the speed washers and the Archimedes screw, I'm pretty sure. Don't forget those bounces off the moguls, though. That could be very decisive right at the end. Flurry Smush has through on the left-hand side in first place. Sends to be in second. Dragon Musical in third. All players neck and neck. Tim Reaper having a little bit of trouble. Now back in fifth place or sixth place. Fruisha Pande and Furwalls on the left-hand side. And then Zodiac Will and Rogue Force still bringing up the rear. All players still ahead of the record time. But again, I believe uh, Echno Needle got a skip off of this level two speed washer into the bottom track here. You're going to see that on the Ghost Ball in just a moment. Glory Smush is going straight through the center. Sends to be on the outhand side. All the other players having a little bit of trouble. Tim Reaper's going for the skip. And Tim Reaper has done it. Can they stick the landing? It looks like they will. And Tim Reaper ahead of the record time taking the the same skip that Echo the Neo did. Rogue Force going for the skip as well, but they're going to fall out of the map. And Tim Reaper with a complete upset. Number 35 on the leaderboard with a new record time, taking the skip to a whole new level in first place, leaving all the other players completely in the dust. Dracula Musical number 16 on the leaderboard, completely outdone by number 35. They underestimated Tim Reaper, and Tim Reaper's going to shine right on the last race of the evening.